Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Today I wanna to talk about a topic that a lot of you are starting to see a lot of news starting to be generated about this. All the hype in the automotive industry the past five plus years has been electrification, electrification, electrification. There's been a movement towards hybrids, which is a good thing if you live in North America. Uh, there's a lot of things for people that travel and need the extended range, but there's more things coming that I think a lot of people, people like myself that are using heavy duty trucks, are really gonna appreciate what's coming down the road, and that's what today I wanna talk about. So let's do this. Okay, this is it guys, hydrogen. Not hydrogen fuel cell, hydrogen internal combustion engine. And we're starting to see the major manufacturers, like here, Cummins, start talking about this. They've actually been working on this for over 10 years now, as well as several other engine manufacturers, as well as car manufacturers. But what's cool about this is we are on the verge of seeing mass level sewer production of vehicles, specifically heavy duty trucks in North America with hydrogen engines. What's interesting, a lot of people think this is just so simple. You just change diesel fuel for hydrogen. There's actually a lot that goes into it. And a lot of cases, as far as I'm aware, these diesel engines have to be retrofitted, which a lot of the internals are still the same. There can be some changes around the piston geometry, things like that. But they actually have to add a spark to ignite some of this fuel. So a lot of the diesel engines are retrofitted to have a spark system to ignite some of this hydrogen. And my understanding is a lot of this fuel has a mix of hydrogen and diesel still combined. It's just mostly hydrogen. But what's cool is if you go to Cummins.com, you can kind of see some of the stuff that's going on and they talk about how clean this is. The advantage to hydrogen diesel internal combustion engines versus a diesel engine is simply if you buy a diesel pickup truck today or some sort of agriculture on over the road truck, these things could have five to $15,000 exhaust systems to help these things meet emissions. With hydrogen fuel cell, with hydrogen diesel engines, you not only can eliminate some of that cost burden, but the real focus of why they're looking at hydrogen diesel engines today is for three to four years down the road. It's not so much today, it's about meeting emissions in the future. For meeting emissions in the future with diesel engines starting like 2028, 2029, the emission standards, if you think things are crazy now, just wait. I mean, I never thought in my life we'd see a mister of a urea in an exhaust system or a filter in an exhaust system. That's old news now. We're now gonna start seeing technology with electric heated catalysts, which is a heater in the exhaust system to heat up exhaust flow. So there's a lot of reasons for companies like Cummins or Stellantis, which is now the owner of Ram Trucks, to start replacing traditional diesel engines and start adding in hydrogen to these platforms. <clears throat> now I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends have been saying, man, we're so excited about this. We're gonna start seeing this in a Ford Explorer F-150. <clears throat> it's gonna be a ways before we see things like this. If you watch what's going on, most of the manufacturers are specifically targeting class three, four, and five and above vehicles. So a class four truck could be a 14,000 GVW vehicle, which is like in this case, this I believe is a 550 or a 5500. This is a vehicle with a 16, 17,000 GVW. It's not gonna be a vehicle I'm gonna be driving down the road to pull a trailer with. This is more geared towards construction sites, agriculture, things like that. But you're gonna start seeing this stuff rolling out more. And here we go, it talks about the 5500. This will be interesting because there will be some neat technology and it will be easier to go to market for people that can't use a battery electric truck, which most people that use a truck cannot. You're not gonna have range anxiety with this because you just fill it back up. And then, so then you see, all right, so Ram's going down that path. What about General Motors? They're already working on this as well. They've got this pilot program right now that it's creating a platform for all sorts of different vehicles, work construction crews. And if you look, a lot of this stuff is pretty kind of new right off the bat. And a lot of this is kind of new uh, press. But as you see here, look at this, the Silverado 5500 medium duty. So it's a class five system. And you're gonna have a greater than 300 mile range, 19,500 GVWs. So this is more proof that we've got alternative propulsion systems. So you got General Motors going down that. Now GM is teaming up 
with uh, Komatsu, which is an equipment manufacturer, and they need something for mining trucks. If you follow the mining industry, uh, clean emissions in, you know, you can imagine underground is important so you don't get like pollution and uh, you, know, you got to have clean air underneath there, as you can imagine. So they're focusing on the 930E uh, mining truck, which is great. It's a monster. Look at the payload, 320 tons. Unbelievable. But their goal is to uh, reduce global emissions 50% by 2030, which is wild. And the only way you can do stuff like that is by switching away from diesel in some of these cases to like hydrogen and whatnot. Then um, this is an article that's a few years old, but Punch Group is the company that does a lot of engineering for General Motors. <clears throat> and my understanding, I think they're solely responsible now for the Duramax engine and all the development and as far as the rollout for General Motors, they've actually kind of outsourced it to Punch, I think the last like five to 10 years. This article is kind of old because the 6.6 .6 liter engine is on its last leg. It's only gonna be out for a little bit. And then you've got the new motor coming out to replace this, but you can kind of see they're working on hydrogen as well. Now, if you like following different scientific articles or whatnot, I'll share this link below, but they kind of talk about diesel and is this the end of the road i think in a lot of cases we're already seeing this as an example three years ago yeah two three years ago you could get an f-150 diesel with a three liter engine the gm three liter diesel in the silverado 1500 and the ram eco diesel with a three liter diesel all three trucks in a half ton truck you could get that you could plus you could get the equinox in a little diesel acadia there is a lot of other little diesel engines Fast forward to today, the last diesel engine standing in the half ton truck segment is the three liter diesel by General Motors. Ford is done with it, Ram is done with it, and it's not that they weren't decent. I mean, they were sort of problematic. It's the price point to give a consumer the ability to have a little diesel engine. By the time you add all the content to make that engine meet emissions, the value's kind of gone in it. The fuel economy is not as great and the cost is absurd. They just had to bow out. And I don't think we've got but maybe five, six years left of this three liter diesel in the Silverado. And that's gonna get pushed away from diesel. Maybe it goes a hydrogen uh, system. My guess is probably gonna go just to more hybrid systems and gasoline. But this is proof right here, guys. We are nearing the end, unfortunately, of straight on only diesel specific powertrains for these heavy duty trucks. You're gonna see more and more push towards the hydrogen you might you might see some of these heavy duty trucks and fleets that city use short range per day switching over, over to electrification but a lot of it is going to switch to hydrogen and i don't have a problem with hydrogen as long as it's you know reliable and easy to fill up and uh, reasonable pricing but you can kind of see right here they've got a spark ignition system and every one of the ones i've researched is using a spark ignition system. I'll include the link below. And then Ford just made this announcement uh, also about the uh, three-year hydrogen fuel cell the, for the e-transit. So they're gonna be looking at some different uh, fuel cell technology for their transit. So it's kind of neat. We're seeing alternative technologies. It's not just everybody battery electric vehicle now. There's a big push towards a uh, hybrid, especially with the new Ram Ram charger coming out. I think that's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see that. Uh, and then now we're seeing more and more fuel cell push. It's gonna be interesting to see how this stuff all plays out. Hey, if you find this video helpful, feel free to give a link. I'd be curious to see your thoughts. When do you think diesel engines are dead for North America in your F-250s to 450s? Do you think we got 10 years left? Do you think we got five years left? If I had to take a guess, I think we're probably gonna see a big transition around 2032 to 2035 if the current emission regulations stay in place. New president, new government, new changes, some of these things could change or pause, but generally speaking, I think we're gonna see a push more and more towards this and pushing diesel engines to hydrogen. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.